I brushed snow off my down jacket and laughed at the inflatable Santa hanging from the porch rafters as I opened the front door. Trevor, one of Luke's housemates, was sitting on the sofa, feet propped on the coffee table, a slice of pizza in one hand and the remote in the other. Hey, Trev. I took off my beanie and let my blonde hair tumble down. Studying hard for finals, I joked. He tossed the pizza in the box and vaulted over the back of the sofa. Impressive. Do you do that for all the girls? I teased. He ran a hand through his mussed up hair, his eyes darting around the room, looking at everything except me. What are you doing here? It's Thursday. I laughed. I'm not allowed to stop by on Thursdays? Is that a house rule? You usually have class all day. True. I was playing hooky this afternoon. Luke's text sealed the deal. Ditch your next class. I need you, now. He'd never asked me to ditch class for sex. I was so thrilled he was finally letting out his inner rebel. I practically sprinted here. Is he in his room? Uh, no, he's out. I furrowed my brow. He said he'd be here. Let's go for a beer. I'm buying. I'm still recovering from last night's birthday celebration. Hair of the dog. Hangover sex would be a better cure, but I kept that to myself. I'll wait in his room. I breezed past him. Catch you later. Trevor's hand wrapped around my arm and he tugged me back. You don't want to go up there. I looked at the stairs, dread gnawing at my stomach. Why not? I whispered. Just don't do it. I shook off his arm and quietly climbed the stairs. As I crept down the hallway, voices came from Luke's bedroom. His door was open a crack, and I stood outside it, straining my ears to hear. When are you going to tell her? After three years of listening to Lexi's voice in the dark while we talked late into the night, I knew it well. Soon, Luke said. I just need more time. I couldn't tell her on her birthday, and with finals coming up. This is making me crazy, Lexi said. I feel so guilty. Every time I look at her, I feel like she knows. I didn't know. I had no idea. This couldn't be happening. Don't cry, Lex. I'll talk to her. It's just hard.